Art like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mike Randall caught up with a group of artists who have discovered a special way of enjoying our region's beauty by painting outside. When you're surrounded by scenery like this, you could take a picture, but it might be more fun to paint one. It releases all your bad energy and you just focus. Sandra Heath and her friends are painting at Lewiston Landing Park. Try to capture as quickly as you can. That's the part about doing it outside. Everywhere you look is a picture. My two favorite things, painting and being outside. And someone painting it. The idea of painting outdoors, you capture the light in a way that you would never do it indoors. Kath Schifano gets out as often as she can. I think if I wasn't a painter, I'd still be outside. Roy Fink says he's new at this, but he sure looks like he knows what he's doing. Oh, it's a creativity and you just never know what's going to happen, you know. Not everyone is using the same medium or even focusing on the same view. It's nice. You get to meet a lot of people. Martha Rogala says she's been doing this for a long time. Since I could hold a paintbrush, but I'm a fair weather painter. I don't, there are some people who go out in the winter and they're much hardier folk than me. Different artists with one thing in common. Besides the sun hats, they all enjoy painting the great outdoors. This idea of painting outside has been around for a long time. In fact, there's a name for it. It's a French word. It's called plein air. Did I say that right? Yeah, I got it right. The group is called the Niagara Frontier Plein Air Painters, an unconventional but creative club started in 2003 by Joan Shaw. So my whole purpose was to gather together a group of friends that like to be a little bit adventurous. There are a lot of painty-worthy places in western New York. We've painted everywhere from Lake Ontario to East Aurora. Most artists will tell you that the process is what they really enjoy. You're in the zone. Niagara Frontier plein air painters have discovered that the best way to stop and smell the roses is to paint them. I mean, outside is glorious. and. and that's the reason I do it. In Lewiston, Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.